Hey, what are you doing? Well, I am improving on Thailand's number one job. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, so anyway, if you uh, saw one of the previous clips, you could see that this was really off. So what I did is I took two concrete columns like that with a come along and uh, pulled the wall in. So right now I have put some concrete on this side, on this side and two small little concrete pieces, concrete column pieces here. So tomorrow after this thing dries, then I can take this off. As you can see, it really bowed in there because I have a lot of pressure on that thing holding this wall coming this way. So the idea and the plan in my mind <laughs> is to release the pressure on that and it should align with the rest of this wall. If it doesn't, well, then we move the columns a little bit further down and uh, do what we need to do. But I think that once we get to about right there, the rest should be okay. However, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, if you look right there, you see a whole bunch of sand that came off this uh, sand pile over here I'll just go ahead and uh, put some sand down at that end down there and uh, some concrete here just like it is right there and uh, release the come along and uh, we'll see where it stays and you know like I said once we release this and the concrete dies tomorrow, then we'll see what needs to be done and go from there. And then once all this cement dries, then it's just a matter of putting all this dirt back in. And uh, we're going to start doing the garden. When, when? As soon as possible. Yes. So I already ordered the seeds. Yeah. So hopefully by the end of the week, no later than the beginning of next week, mm -hmm. we should have some uh, some, uh, uh, some something pl planted in here or mm -hmm. planted in here, mm -hmm. and then it's a matter of time, and we should have some vegetables. So we've got a whole bunch of seeds. So this mm -hmm. is going to be a, a full-blown garden here. You're going to have three. Uh, beds here that are 20 meters long which is I think we need to pick each one some parts that to make uh, the little one before yeah, 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 yeah. it has to be organized this one according. is better for the order well I, I think that I think that one. well I think that anything that is uh, sensitive to the Sun should be in the middle one mm. the one that requires more Sun would be on this one and then the gentler sun is the one on the other side but in the afternoon it gets shade so this is the one that will get more sun so anything that can withstand the sun can go here maybe the middle one what to make a nursery for the vegetable where you been? No, I said we're gonna use the middle one, Lita. Middle one, okay. Um, yeah, and then the the ones the that bang bang, you know? then the ones that require a lot of sun is here, mm -hmm. and then the ones that require sun Do but we need gentle. Do to put the water to make it? No, 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 no. We'll, at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, we'll plant the seeds, and then we have the uh, we have the watering mm -hmm. uh, jug there that that puts the water out like a shower. Mm -hmm. Uh, to get him started and then we'll use this this mm. this stuff here is a big mist mm. 
Mm. And then, of course, the longer you leave it, the more it floods the thing in here. But if you want mm. a, just a gentle wet, you just turn it on for five minutes and then turn it mm. off. And you can do that several times a day. Okay, okay. we see. All, All right. right. Very good. Okay, so here we are. There was a change of plans. As you can see, we've uh, concreted this hole in here and this one here and covered up the hole that used to be right there. We've also covered up the hole that was right there. And the reason for that is because before I was going to bring the fence up to here then go down that way. But instead, what I will do is I will bring it out to here and then turn and uh, weld the chain link to the back of this uh, metal here. And the fence will just go here. Then between these two poles, I will put a chain link fence or gate that will slide out that way and then over here I will take and weld the fence to the other side of that come out this way and line up with this fence here so of course we're gonna have to move this gravel but there will be a pole here, a pole here, and uh, a pole halfway between there and where I'm standing. So we actually need three more poles, which lucky for us, we have three poles. Yeah, and then that one roll of chain link will uh, finish out this portion here that portion over there and hopefully we have enough for the gate if not we have uh, several options we get different material or go buy another row yeah time will tell and we'll see what happens now the one thing that happened <laughs> and I was having so many problems trying to hit this thing together and then one helped me yesterday and today when I came to let the chickens out I realized that this is a two inch hole and this is a one inch hole so I could never get these things to align because they're different size once I realized that I just got some round bar and uh, wired it in all the way down here and it's fine so yeah and then uh, the other thing that uh, the other thing we started doing today is we started bringing in some dirt if you can call it that it's a uh, some kind of clay clumpy stuff that's uh, that's over there and I've had that thing for oh, forever and right now it's hard as concrete it turned into a rock. yeah it's like a rock <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a little something here to connect this dirt with this here and then of course we're going to give it time to settle and as uh, as it goes we'll fill it in and fill it in and whatever and then what we'll do is when we get ready to put a little bit of concrete on the bottom of this gate this thing will have settled and be sitting just like that and we can concrete that in also yeah but that's going to take a little bit of doing but that's how it goes no hurry 
it is what it is it'll get done when it gets done now the only drawback right now is that until this is done the chickens when they come out of the uh, chicken coop they run all out through here they have the run around privileges for the whole thing except where the garden is we put in that plastic netting uh, probably about a week ago and uh, slowly but surely they're training themselves to stay out of that area down there and uh, so far that's happening it's been days since uh, Oh, probably about four or five days since there have been any chickens over there and uh, that's a good thing yeah so we'll see what happens all right we'll talk to you guys later okay so <clears throat> the third pole there was missing I went and uh, got it on Sunday Put it in, put some concrete, and uh, right here added the other row, brought it down, made a turn, and now it's all the way up to the uh, metal column there, but as you can see it's kind of going down right there because it just has a piece of wire has not been welded. So when I get ready to weld it, I will lift it up to the right level and weld it but what I will do first is I will give it one last stretch to make sure that it's tight before I come over here and weld it now on this side as I said before there's just a little piece of wire and then you have this that'll go back here to the back and that'll get welded. Now, as for the gate, I don't know if you can see it, but down there leaning against the uh, fish house is the, the chain link that's left. And it is not enough to go all the way through so I think what I will do well first of all I need to think about it for a while but I think uh, I'm gonna need to get creative and originally I had thought about putting the sliding door here and slide it out that way but I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna split this gate in half and do it like those uh, doors there swing half of it out this way and then swing the other half out this way so it just comes to here and I'll put a, a piece of metal there so when the gate comes it doesn't break this little sprinkler there but I think it would be better if I build this and two halves so what I'm thinking is I will take this wire that's here and uh, put it along the bottom of both halves and then as far as the top I'm still thinking about it I can uh, uh, I can uh, maybe put some round bar I can put some plastic netting, whatever, because if I go by another row, that is uh, 10 meters of chain link. And here, uh, I haven't measured it, but it's like maybe four, four meters. So I would have six meters left. And that's just way too much material to leave sit around because 
I can't foresee using it anywhere. Uh, of course, you never know. But either way, yeah. So there it is. Uh, within the next few days, I will work on uh, tightening up this fence, welding this. Oh, and this PVC water cloth is there. I'm going to move it along the wall there, just like it is on the other side. It is working very well. So the one thing that I will do to the one on the other side is I will, uh, if you can see, there's a pipe coming out uh, every so often. There's four filters, so there's four pipes coming out. It's the same thing on the other side. I will tap into that and uh, use it to put uh, uh, a shutoff valve there and it will supply water to that little trough here and do the same on the other side so I don't have to keep dragging a hose around. I can just turn it on and turn it off. Yeah, so there it is. It is what it is and we'll see how it turns out in the end. And once I close off this area here, the chickens will only have access to that whole back site all the way around down this thing and here in front. And uh, I've already started cutting the metal that's going to go here for the little roof that's going to go here. Uh, I've made a decision as to how I'm going to frame it uh, because the problem was is how much of this stuff would I have to cut and I didn't want to cut too much of that uh, thing there so yeah anyway little by little it get done it's looking very very positive it's moving in the right direction and uh, one of these days, I'll call it done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye-bye.